What up, Graham? Happy Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, happy Love Day. It's not. It does not sound theologically correct to say Happy Ash Wednesday. So, um, blessings to you on this Ash Wednesday um, at the start of Lent. I am at the office, as you can see. Where are my pictures? There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, because for the first time since pre-pandemic, we are gathering for Ash Wednesday service inside the church. Um, we are in the chapel, not in the sanctuary, but in the chapel. And I knew I was going to have all kinds of feelings around that because um, we used to do Bible study in the chapel pre-pandemic on Wednesdays. And I would be here all day. But now there are some people who were here pre-pandemic who are no longer here. And so um, that's kind of hard having some feelings. So I have to grapple with my feelings around that. Um, yeah. And even just the acknowledgement and realization that who I was in 2020 when we went into the pandemic, I am a very different individual now. So it feels funny even just being back in the chapel this time of night <laughs> and all of that. So I'm just having a moment. I also just now received a very special invitation um, to preach that I'll tell you about some other time, but um, it immediately brought me to tears. So I'm having a lot of feelings, um, good feelings, hard feelings, um, joyful feelings, feelings of Thanksgiving, also, just, you know, I'm just emotional today. I'm just having a lot of feelings. But overall, I am grateful. I am thankful. I'm thankful for the experiences that all of those feelings represent. And child, I'm thankful for this lighting in this office. It's got my skin giving. <laughs> anyway, um... I hope you all are having a beautiful Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Um, I love you no matter who you are, where you are. And um, I hope you have a great evening. And I hope you acknowledge Ash Wednesday. All right. I'll see y'all.